What's up guys, welcome to episode 3 of our series where we are building a 20 defense Iron Man PKing account. In case you've forgotten, our goal is maxed 20 defense and 50 or 60 attack, depending on what Jagex want to do with the new prayers. And to make the experience a little bit more fun, we are grouped with my girlfriend, where she is going to be making a maxed account, that way I can get access to some items that would otherwise be impossible for me to get due to my questing limits. Now because it's been a while since episode 2, let me share a quick recap. We grinded out 65 fishing, we then completed the feud which gave us access to nature runes where we continue training magic to unlock all of our spells at 45. We then completed priest in peril so that we can run in circles for a very long time, getting ourselves 60 agility and unlocking the full graceful set. And yes, my girlfriend did get the squirrel pet at 47 agility. Next we needed to get the adamant axe because the steel axe is really bad. After killing a few of these things, one finally dropped. We then used it to get ourselves 50 wood cutting and fire making to unlock winter Todd, but mostly because we need the easy token levels for last man standing. We got our crafting up so we can create some jewelry for more teleports and we finally completed the dig site quest in which we unlocked the island for birdhouse runs. We then did this quest to unlock Hasidius where we stole a bunch of stuff for 50 thieving so that we could go get the rogues outfit and go spam clicking our boy the master farmer for his seeds because apparently this is the best way to get seeds for farming. And then to finish we completed nature spirit which gave us the total levels needed to begin the best money maker in the game for early iron men and that is Last Man Standing. Our first LMS game, let's go. We're going to be using Entity Hider as well, just to make sure we win a lot. So the main reason we are doing LMS is so we can get the Rune Pouch. And we also need money to unlock High Alchemy. Oh, he's dead already. <laughs> that was so quick. Goodbye, buddy. All right, we have turned off Entity Hider. I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> he went for a rush. That was just Ballista Poke. And let's go in for a quick little Blood Brage. Oh, I two ticked because it's a Ballista. Quick spec. Oh, as if you prayed it. Okay, this guy has a brain. I need to remember that I do have 240 ping. Good respect here. Oh, we misclick. Send it again. Oh, we prayed it. Nice pray. I think that's refrozen now. Let me just see it up. Make sure I don't die. Yeah, I don't see myself losing this fight, so I just gotta kind of take it one hit at a time. It should be fine. Maybe VLS spec KO. Also close. Get a quick blood barrage. Splash, of course. Send one more spec. Nice. Back KO. Alright, well, now you guys can see how easy it is for me to win games. So I'm just going to turn on Entity Hider and go full sweat and just make maximum points per hour. Yeah, okay. Report. Sweat. Fuck AHK. I'm doing the most retarded switches. <laughs> yeah, let's just kill him. Good fight. You're AHK. Cheating is cringe. Do a quick knife. DDS combo. <laughs> uh, good fight, buddy. 20 wins in a row. We now can unlock. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. The rune pouch. That is going to make life a lot easier when I'm teleporting around. Let's just put that stuff in there now. And for the rest of the points, we're going to be buying rune arrows. And whenever we buy these rune arrows, we can high alk them for like 260 GP each, or we can also sell them to a shop. Quickly buying some rubies with the money we have left. We're down to 20k, bro. But this should be enough for a few dig site ammies. But now we're going to head over to this shop right here in Karen. So we're going to be selling a few rune arrows at a time and then buying them on my main account so that the shop is always buying rune arrows at a good price. I think you can do it in pest control as well by memory, but I don't I know this one works. Nearly sold them all. Up. Almost at a thousand left. This is so fucking tedious, but look at that cash stack, bro. We're almost at a mil. Last one. Let's go. 1.2-ish mil. Ah, uh, not gonna lie. That was so aged to sell, <laughs> but at least we got the cash. This should last quite a while. Bought some gold ore, and we're gonna be turning these gold bars into amulets and rings for some teleports, because I want to start like hunter runs and that sort of thing ASAP. Yes, I want to make some ruby necklaces. Just gotta drink this to boost my magic, and there we go. We've now officially unlocked the dig site pendant, and we can also finally start our hunter runs, which I'm really excited for. 50 magic, complete completed five more levels to go. Um, it should take too long now that we've got all the money that we need for as many natures as we need. One of our first birdhouse runs are about to be complete. Um, if you guys don't know, the important thing about birdhouse runs is that it's one of the best ways to get tree seeds, which for obvious reasons are really good farming XP. 55 magic coming in. Let's go. We can now high out. When I can't be bothered selling, I can pretty much just buy a whole bunch of nature runes and look at this, 240 GP her fucking arrow. That's crazy. Our farm runs have officially begun. My, by far my favorite skill in the game, honestly. 
there's a really good chance that I'm going to get like 99 farming before anything else just because I enjoy it. Like, I don't understand why, but it is what it is. Oh, that feels so good. So these are actually going to turn straight into energy potions, which is going to be so, so huge for me. Because even though I have Graceful, I still run out of energy quite often. There we go. So yeah, I need to get this Volcanic Ash. And by using this on Super Compost, we will be turning it into Ultra Compost, which makes it like 95% chance of not dying like the herbs or something like that oh let's go ultra compost completed huge no our sweet corn isn't finished so at least this is that should be 31 farming as well which is huge because we can now do strawberries which is going to get us a lot of xp yes let's go my girlfriend got the dr jekyll thing so basically we've got to give this guy an ear at leaf and he's going to return us an agility potion four and this is the last thing that i need in order to complete tie by one trio so i can unlock karumb ones i'm super happy that we finally got it after i um definitely did not fuck it up the last time all right let's go ghost ahoy completed got some prey levels but more importantly we have the ectophile so now we can teleport to an extra place during our farm runs let's go that should be 34 thank you so that's going to be a massive xp an hour jump going from maples to teaks we run out of ultra compost so we're getting a lot more 300 ish should hopefully be enough for at least i don't know 40 or 50 farming ish I hope <laughs> we'll see. Birdhouse runs are getting a lot more serious now, so we'll be getting a lot of dig site amulets. So this is how we're buying nature runes. We go into this guy's shop, buy a hundred, and then hop worlds, and we buy another hundred. I believe this is the last step of the quest and should be quest complete. Let's go. We have finally unlock a ones. That is going to be our main food source for a very, very long time. Probably until we can use Sarah Brews. And thank you. 42 attack, 40 strength. Let's fucking go. Bro, I love how like I'm going to end up getting 50 attack, like 70-ish strength just by questing pretty much. Like, that's just insane to me. Quick little milestone. 40 hunter coming in. We're starting to stack up a lot of seeds as well, which is great for farming. Excited for that. Quickly getting Lost City done. Um, now that our farming is getting a lot more serious, I want to unlock the fairy rings. That way we can teleport around Gilanor a little bit more efficiently. Going to make a bunch of these dreaming staffs just in case we ever venture into the wilderness and lose them i think we just need to teleport back in quest complete yep let's go all right now just got to do fairy tale one and part i believe a fairy tale two and we should be good to go to start using the fairy rings there we go fairy tale one complete all right now i just got to do a little bit of fairy tale two. Oh, 36 actually i think we unlocked the uh secretors wait not those ones oh there they are the um yeah magic secretors so that's actually going to be really good for farming um we're going to get a lot more herbs per crop now uh use the fairy rings yes this is the step that we need i think this is it sweet now we have unlocked the fairy rings um means that we're going to be able to teleport to ardoin using the cape run across straight to the fairy ring and teleport wherever the fuck we need like this is one of the biggest um all of the important teleports now i have been unlocked on my account and i'm about to get energy potions as well which is huge dkp I think this is the one to get to the Karam ones. There they are. Let's fucking go. Now we're going to be staying here for quite a while, getting food predominantly for Winter Todd. That is the main thing that we are going to be using it for, but also, yeah, you know, just general food for a lot of different things. All right, lads, that is end for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Made it a little bit quicker and try to squish as much into this episode as possible. Future episodes are going to be significantly longer. I'm going to aim for like 45 minutes-ish, if possible. Um, like 30 to 45 minutes. And we're hiring an editor to make sure that the quality is up to scratch. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see us progress towards Winter Todd in the next episode, then make sure you like the video, subscribe, and make sure you hit the bell notification thingy. That way you get updated. And that is pretty much it. See you guys next time. Peace.